Hi Cancers, welcome to your reading. Guys, we are doing where's the next conversation between us headed. But this reading is for new connections, guys, where we do not have a past or a history together. Uh, it's for new connections where we're trying to get to know each other in that first process. There will be a time stamp for those of us looking for um, current relationships or, you know, where we have a history and past together. So if you're looking for that one, check the timestamp in the description box for that reading. But this one is for new connections. I'm going to pull their energy, your energies, and just know the energies can be reversed. Sometimes, you know, a lot of times I pick up the energies in reverse. But I'll pull them first, then you. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's get the energy forward for my cancer connections strongest energy forward well, let's go with it guys let's see what their energy is for my cancers cancers pop got a full card and faith oh guys the hair font Oh, somebody's definitely wanting to take a leap of faith here. Yes, they do. Uh -huh. <laughs> a leap of faith. It's also showing me this person is hoping for something solid. They are looking for a committed relationship. So, yeah, they're definitely looking. See, second person or your energy. Pop. King of Swords. Whoa, clarity. Clarity, Aquarius energy. Huh. We all in our head. Let's see where the conversation is going. Ooh, it's going to work out well. Yes. <laughs> Victory card at six of wands. Huh. Optimism. Hmm. I like that. It's, it, it, it's, the conversation is going, yeah, it's going to be very, but put it this way, uh, Leo spotlight energy, it's very, the conversation we're getting ready to have with the person is uh, very revealing, uh, no, no bars hold, uh, so yeah, I mean, we're not holding back from each other, we're being really authentic, somebody... It, over here, they really want to take a leap of faith. I'm not sure. We're going to find out a little bit more about what you're very clear about. Because <laughs> you're very clear about something. Because this is not feminine energy. That's the masculine side of our energy. Uh, where we know and we're clear about what we know and what, we, what we're what we wanting and what we don't want. Uh, we're past the feminine energy of, uh, I'm open to hearing you, but you better say the right thing, because she's, she's particular, she demands accuracy. He's already get, got accuracy, and he's like, uh, I don't care whether you're ac accurate or not, I'll drop the sword on you, and it, you know, he don't give <laughs> three strikes, you're out, that kind of thing, so, yeah, he's done past that, uh, so, yeah. Let's come in on, on both energies here. I'm going to ask what we're looking for, what we're desiring when it comes to a connection with someone. Uh, and just know a lot of times people's first response is when you ask them what they want, they can tell you really quick what they don't want. So we might be picking up what they don't want and what they want. <laughs> Let's come in on first person, the fool. Ready to take a, 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 a leap here. Uh, and faith. Ooh, the hair font. Divinely guided is what I just heard. Divinely. Ooh, they feel like they were, it was meant to be <clears throat> that they were supposed to connect with you. Let's see what they're wanting. Uh, they want to take things really slow. They want clarity about things. Uh, so even though they're willing to jump uh, and they feel like uh, it was meant, they were meant to connect with you. They're going to take things really slow. Uh -huh. A lot of communication is going on from them with this. Uh, questions, curiosity, that kind of thing. Mm, three cups. 
<clears throat> three cups. Ooh, they might want to start out as friends a little bit, but they I'm picking up the shadow on it, uh, seeing that page looking at that three cups of like, how, uh, how many other people are you talking to? That kind of thing. They want to know if you're holding options, uh, things like that. What else? Eight of cups. Ooh, evaluating things. Hmm. Explain my Eight of Cups for me. Death card. Ow. With this one, for 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 a lot of us, what they're wanting to know is, have you really put your past behind you? Uh, they might know you enough to know you were you were with someone. That may not be for all of us, but they were wanting to know if it, is it really over? Is it really over? Mm -hmm. With someone from your past. Uh, so yeah, but for others of us, uh, it's also an indication, I'm, I'm also picking up a, a little weariness on this, uh, there's something about, uh, lifestyle, uh, addictions, anything like that, party lifestyle, um, they're not looking for that, they seem to, they seem to be saying they're coming away their self, uh, from, they like maturing, going into a new phase of their life, of letting go of a lifestyle, immature kind of lifestyle, or something that wasn't all that great for them. Because they, they are at a turning point in their life. They're leaving their past behind. They're going through a transformation. So the one thing we can gather from them, ooh, the faith card also, higher powers, relying on higher, higher power, to guide, help guide me here away from influences. Hmm. Okay. So they definitely don't want, they want to make sure somebody, uh, they're going to reveal to us guys, you know, they're, they are looking for environments that do not trigger them and uh, pull them back into uh, something that wasn't all that great for them. Mm -hmm. Could be addictions. Just down to um, they're having to uh, become more responsible. That kind of thing with life. Uh, so, yeah. Because they're definitely want, abandoning something. So, they're, they're def they don't want anyone that's going to trigger them. Or be an influence to pull them back into that. Hmm. Let's come over here on your energy, that King of Swords energy. Very mature clarity. Let's see what's going on with you. You, you, <laughs> you don't like anybody that does not know how to reveal things about their self and that you're not sure about. Uh, you like, you definitely like someone and it's like I said, you know, you pass the feminine energy of, I'm open to listening to you talk, but, you know, you better be talking with accuracy. You better be saying and expressing and act, your words, your actions better match your words when it comes to a queen of swords energy. We're past that, guys. Uh-huh. But let's see what else, because we definitely, what we are looking for, guys, is somebody that's got control. Knows how to have self-control, but still also likes a little, you know, has a little bit of a wildness to them. Knows when it's appropriate. <laughs> yes. Oh, what else? We definitely don't want anyone that is, um, uses mind games, things like that. Card of sneaky betrayals, things like that. It's also, uh, on the other side of, we don't want somebody that, doesn't know how to be authentic and transparent with us. That cheats and things like that. Playa, we're not looking for a player. <laughs> we all, but we also are looking for somebody that is intelligent. I don't know how else to put it. Um, strategic, goal oriented, uh, knows how to overcome any kind of challenges. Uh huh. Doesn't let uh, things get in the way of. Them think tactics and strategical thinking uh, knows how to ward off uh, drama in the future for themselves. You know, thinks ahead of time. It's not rash. 
because you're coming in on an energy that is not rash. You you think things through ahead of time. What else do you want? You want true love. Uh-huh. A equal balance, give and take. Um, two of cups energy. Mm -hmm. Complimentary energy. Ooh. Ooh. And like I said, guys, because this, you know, that's coming in on, you know, uh, wanting someone's actions to match their words. You just don't take somebody's words for it. You observe and make sure uh, they actually do. So, hmm. Come in on the conversation over here. It's going to be revealing. Oh, it definitely is going to be revealing. Yes, what's your intentions, that kind of thing. Uh, we're not making definite decisions. The fact that we got the Six of Wands and the Empress. We're not making the definite decision about the person, but we're listening and observing. That's the action our Empress takes before, you know, she takes any kind of action. She sits down, observes, and listens. And what she's seeing... <laughs> is uh will determine what action she takes but we're getting a lot of a uh, glow up energy mm -hmm. growth let's see what else what else where is it headed queen of wands ow it's definitely our energy is going to click together uh op think optimistic guys because that is you know our queen of wands that divine feminine aries energy follows positivity um she's an influencer that you know she normally in rider weight that is always looking wherever the sunflower is facing because the sunflower that she holds is facing the sun that's always looking optimistic looking at the brighter side of things Let's see what else oh magician oh the conversation we're headed for is very revealing but it's also giving us the clarity i don't think we'll make a definite decision about uh how much you know how far we're willing to go with this person but we will be making a decision of yeah i'm open to talking some uh, some more but we're i'm not put, placing expectations until i see uh, behaviors match uh, your words. Bottom of the deck, we got judgment. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's going to be very revealing because judgment card, guys, is about recognition. Loves rec you reckon you're recognizing something. Your judgment uh, is banging on it. It's a you know waking up to something. Ah, ten of coins, possibilities of long term, but also each other's reputation, uh, what we've done so far and how much we've manifested. We're going to find out where we each stand, uh, what kind of career you got, what are your goals, things like that. What have you uh, manifested for yourself so far in life? And to a source energy, we're not making a definite decision yet. Mm -mm. Yep. Yeah. But we're getting closer to it. The conversation is going to be really good because it's going to be a revealing kind of conversation for us. Where we're getting to know each other better and it's, it's uh, coming away from it in a positive way of, yeah, I'll talk to him again. Hmm. Let's get the message deck, guys. I'm going to alternate back and forth. I got a huge stack here. Uh, let's come in on first person. Ooh, that was quick. I can't think straight around you. Uh-oh. You unnerve them a little bit, Cancer. Let's come over to your energy, second person's energy. You matter to me. Ooh, no wonder we're coming in with that clarity and uh, masculine energy. Masculine is a guarded energy. We protect things when we're in the masculine energy. Back over here. I would give anything if I could just hold you. Ooh, they trip they, they eat. Well, y'all see where that's going. I want to feel you next to me. Over here on the second person's energy. Let's see what's going to come out. I'm a complete mess. Ooh, on the outside, guys, just know. <laughs> outside, you don't look like a complete mess. And you're not coming across as a complete mess. You're coming across very, I've got my shit together. And you better have your shit together. But on the inside, you feel like a complete mess. Back on first person. 
please listen. Oh, yeah. Got you. They, yeah. What, they don't, I don't think they realize just how much you are listening. You're listening to even things that aren't being said. Yes. Back over here on your energy. I am pa waiting patiently. One more, uh, bottom one. You're irresistible. Oh, this person has got our attention. We've got an influence on each other. Full attention on, on to each other with this queen coming out. I should have known. We're, and we do. We want, we want to see where it's going to go. Mm hmm Whoa. But, from our standpoint, this person may not realize that because our outer exterior is coming across as nonchalant, bold, brave. I am not a mess, and you're not going to see it even if I feel it. I got my shit together. Very intimidating for this first person. Cancers, I hope that was helpful, guys. I'm sending y'all love and light. Bless be. Hey cancers, let's get into this guys. Let's see the next conversation where are things headed. Just keep in mind guys, this one, this reading is for when we have a history and a past together. Current relationship or we might, you know, be coming back together. It's just, we've got past and history. I'm pulling their energy, your energy. Energies can be reversed. Sometimes I pick it up reversed. Most of the time I pick it up reversed from everyone's comments. <laughs> but let's see what's going on. Let's get the strongest energy forward. Let's find first person. And I am referring to first person as your person. Let's get their energy. Let's see what's coming out. Mm. Pop. Disorder, disorganization, chaos, turmoil, disruption of peace, chasing, no, clashing personalities and disagreements, a difficult time. Mm. Phew, okay, let's see your energy. Your energy. Pop. Mysterious, ooh, you're very mysterious. The secrets are kept from you. There are missing puzzle pieces. The problem remains unsolved. <clears throat> Cannot be explained if not fully understood. Okay, so, no. I think you're mysterious, yes. Always cancer. Uh, you baffle people. Bottom of the deck, we've got a forbidden, do not touch, prohibited from use. Choose wisely. Taking action I will have negative consequences. Hmm. Interesting. I... Uh, the the mysterious yeah you are mysterious to this person i think they might think they know you when they really don't know you because you're very mysterious your water energy highly intuitive i mean you, you know what to share and what not to share with someone you also know how to pull their strings <laughs> on an unseen level so yeah uh, but this person is very chaotic disorganized mm-hmm Difficult times, there's something that you need clarity on with this person that you've not gotten yet. Yet. Mm -hmm. We're using the mist. I think it's called the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. I did put reversals in on this deck uh, this time. Y'all know I don't normally uh, reverse any of my cards, but for some reason, I felt compelled to this time. Uh, with the readings. Let's come in on uh, first uh, first person, your person. Let's push you over a little bit here. Let's see what's going on with them. Ace of Swords. Oh, they're definitely wanting to talk, but they're wanting to get... Uh, they're, they're coming across probably with a lot of different kind of talk. They're trying to win us over. It's a card of victory and trying to, you know, get clarity, but also win to win. Think a lot in their head and talking. Mm -hmm. Eight of Swords. Ooh. Eight of Swords is normally a self restrictive card uh, where you're holding yourself back. This person's not holding their self back. Uh, they're all over the place. Uh, a lot of times, Eight of Swords on a positive energy. That's where you you got your 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 focus is where it's supposed to be. 
uh, you don't allow other people's opinions and circumstances to influence you, that kind of thing. Uh, the fact that it's coming in reversed and we're getting it on somebody that's very disorganized, uh, they don't pay attention uh, to things. Um, they're not, how do I put it, not really observant about reactions, uh, um, cause and effect. <laughs> when you open your mouth, sometimes you can't put your foot in your mouth kind of energy. I don't think they realize that. Mm -hmm. What else? We've got a reverse Nine of Cups. And I promise, guys, less than half this deck is reversed and we're getting reversals. So we got a Nine of Cups. They're not sure about what they want. Mm -mm. A wish fulfillment uh, kind of thing. Um, they're not very optimistic. And like I said, they're not sure about what they want. I think their optimism may come across as naive. Uh, my head's in the clouds. Uh how do you put it? Not grounded <laughs> when it comes to their wishes. It's more of wishful thinking. Let's put it that way. Not knowing how to bring the wishes into reality. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. So they're very chaotic, but they're definitely trying to win us over on something. Let's come over to your energy real quick. On that mysterious things aren't uh, cannot be explained if not fully understood the problem remains unsolved uh, let's see what's going on with that just this card a verdict yeah trying to get clarity to make a judgment to you know make a decision on something uh, but y'all know just this card is also about truth honesty and balancing between the extremes of things the yin the yang but uh it's a verdict so it's got our energy on a mental level of we're trying to get clear about something about this person before we have make a final decision about them mm-hmm see what else high priestess and she's on her head guys she's on her head this person may talk enough good stuff i don't know how else to put it their gift of gab uh that where they may have us doubting our intuition mm -hmm. but it's also i mean yeah it's like i'm what do you it's, Love secrets. Secrets in love. Secrets, guys. She's on her head and it's like somebody's not revealing something. And, and we're not quite sure we're picking their energy up and able to hear what's not being said. Because they might be saying so much. And then we've got an eight of wands. Hmm. Momentum of what? Ooh, tell me more about the eight of wands. Eight of wands. What's the goal here? Every They talk too fast. Things move fast. The full card. Am I being a fool? Oh, oh, oh. Can I have faith in this? Should I give this person uh, what verdict? Think justice. And this is important to us, guys, because we're getting our verdict on justice uh major arcana but our high priestess is also on her head we're getting a lot of the major arcana cards on us so this is this this connection it's really important that we get clear about whatever it is that's mysterious mm -hmm. see where the conversation next conversation is going guys Got a nine of swords on its head. Ow, I like that nine of swords is about needless stress and anxiety but it is stressing extremely stressing and it's also about patterns guys uh the nine number nine in the tarot represents endings your number tens are actually you fixing the way something ends mm -hmm. uh, right now uh, we're going to see something real clear uh, the next conversation and it may relieve the anxiety in us trying to figure out what was what whether that's in the connection or whether it's for, uh, I want to say where it can, we'll see something clear. We'll know something clearly that will pop that high priestess back up right for us. Uh, and we'll be able to uh, trust, trust, we'll have evidence of what, what it is we're confused about. We've got a king of wands on his head some ow <laughs> we're gonna shut somebody up real quick 
King of Wands uh, energy is um, what is it? It's, it's like a Leo energy. Like I said, oh, I'm picking up this person is blah blah blah. Keeps your attention uh, constantly. Uh, inter they're entertaining. Let's put it that way. Center stage. They know how to draw the attention to them. Uh, they're not going to be drawing so much attention to them this time. They'll be listening more. Uh, then they are doing the talking and, you know, trying to avoid. Because I feel like they talk a lot to, or they make us feel like they're saying so much. And, and it's almost like I'm trying to keep avoid something, avoid having a conversation about something. Let me So let me talk about everything else and not stop talking. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we've got our four ones on its head. Mm -hmm. Four ones is about growth, a milestone, um, moving forward together, that kind of thing, building a solid foundation. Uh, bottom of the deck, we've got temperance, and she's upright <laughs> yeah, doing alchemy. Five of cups. Oh, okay. Yeah. Seven of wands, boundaries. Oh, we definitely, uh, um, for me, the bottom of the deck is reading this person's energy, your energy over here. It's showing me that the conversation we have gives us the clarity we need to make the final verdict decision uh, whether or not we're going to move forward, grow forward, keep going forward, hit the mark. Something about the conversation is going to show us um, <clears throat> boundaries. I, I, that my boundaries are up now because I'm seeing something clearly. I'm starting to understand what's going on better. Mm-hmm. And the hair font. We, we are not moving forward together right now because you're seeing something very clear uh, that's helping you make a decision, uh, whether it's long term or a temporary decision. But the conversation is going to have us not putting a lot of faith and um, going, you know, sticking with it too much. We're not going to put a lot of expectations for a future with this person of growing into something stable. That's the next conversation. Mm -hmm. But it's relieving us of our anxiety, our wonder, our what is what going on. It's giving us enough to let go of focusing in on that and they can't keep our attention much anymore with that reverse king of wands. And like I said, we're not really going to go anywhere. It's, it's not growing anywhere. Uh, so, yeah, we're making a, a decision, final decision, a verdict. verdict. You've come to a decision, a verdict about the situation. I don't know if, it, I don't think it, the person is really clarifying herself from the conversation or bringing in the, I, I, I want to know what's what energy. They're, it, they're coming at us with more avoidance. Uh, let me distract you from it, uh, energy. So it's not going anywhere, but we I think we're getting tired of playing it with them. So, yeah. Ooh, we're going to use our text messages, guys. I don't know the technical name, the name of it, but I do ha I'm pretty sure I have a link in the description box. I'm going to let first person over here talk, then you talk. We're going to alternate back and forth uh, and get a little bit of idea of what we would say to each other. Let's come in on your person first. I need to move on, but we still have unfinished business. You'd be like, tell me what the unfinished business is. And I don't think they can tell you. Because, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You, over here. Our relationship was so darn complex. Yeah, I think it's a little more complex. I think it was it was wearing on our wearing on us big time, especially for our high priestess to come in on her head like that. That's unusual. Um, that a cancer can um, be doubting their intuition. So yeah, somebody's really distracted us, distracted us on a mental level. That's triggering us on an emotional level of questioning our intuition back over here i was confused i didn't know what i wanted yeah they're very confusing for us yes on your energy 
I want you no strings attached. I'm not attaching any strings. But I will listen to you for a minute and see if you'll get it clear. <laughs> Over here on them, it hurts seeing you love someone else. Oh, might be a little bit of jealousy and worry about uh, you moving on. Let's see on your energy. See if there's anything else your energy wanted to bring out. Mm. Please answer me. I have to talk to you. Oh, and I'm taking that as please get real here. Can you get real here? Kind of answer, you know, because I think they're answering us with too much instead of the realness of what's what, what's mysterious about them, which you can see they're a little bit confusing over here. And we got this one with it. I can't stop thinking about you. Hmm. Yeah, they definitely distracted us. But like I said, the the next conversation is going to push us to our limits of, okay, no boundaries. Oh, guys, I just noticed bottom of, the bottom of the deck where we got the forbidden. Look what's under it. So connection. But lust, lust coming in for some reason. Bottom of the message deck. I fantasize about you while I'm in bed with some. Is this what we're not clear about? Is this what we're picking up on and not following uh, um, our intuition, our gut, what it's telling us? Not sure. Y'all take that one as you will. Let's pull Romance Angel Oracles. We're coming out to the conversation. I want to see what Spirit wants to bring out for you. On this next conversation. Because like I said. We're not really growing. The next conversation. But. It's got us. Uh, two point. Uh, Y'all know. Uh, the nine of swords is your ending. Ten of swords is. What? <laughs> You're surrendering to what, what is. And moving forward. Mm -hmm. See what's coming. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah, we were really feeling it with this person. That, I mean, for them to shake our energies up the way they have. Yeah. But pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Mm -hmm. Was there anything else? Anything else? Mm. Got another one. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time. Together or not together? Hmm. Not sure about that one. Y'all take it as you will because for some of us, we may actually, the conversation may be where we spend time with each other and that's where it all comes clear to us. But like I said, we had true feelings for this person, but we're, we're not able to determine with our high priestess on her head, red flag or all in my head. And they're not making things clear. So, yeah. I think they're... And I don't think they're going to clarify for us. And, but we're going to have to clarify for ourselves. Bring it to an ending. The, yeah. That nine of swords on its head. Ooh, let's get a lover's oracle before I close you off my cancers. Mm, let's see what's going to come out. It's for my cancers. Ooh, pop. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Mm -hmm. Don't rush any decision. Uh, you'll know. You'll know uh, your justice card, that final verdict. You will know. Mm -hmm. So don't rush anything, any decision about the connection. Because like I said, you're going to hit that point of pop. It's there. I know exactly what I need to do. Cancers, I hope it was helpful, guys. I'm sending y'all love and light. Bless be.